Hey guys, it's Isabella. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you are new. I am moving out in a few weeks, so I'm very excited to film some really cute like moving vlogs and videos. I'm hoping I film them. I'm not going to make any promises. But if my videos are a little bit chaotic, I'm sorry, but I'm about to start the process of packing up my room relatively soon. Um, so I thought I would film this video before I do that. I am moving in with my boyfriend and I was going to wait until I moved in to film this video, but I will be filming like a library tour in a few months when I'm settled because I will be able to have my very own library room in this new house, so I'm very excited. But I thought it would be a fun little idea to go through my bookshelves and one, see what books I have not read and two, count the books that I have not read because I have no idea how long my TBR is. I just know that it is very long. So yeah, there's not really any order to this. I'm just going to go through very briefly tell you what it's about, but I'm not going to go super in depth because I know my TBR is very long, like I said. <laughs> just popped the light on so the lighting is slightly better, but at the top of my bookshelf we have this area. Now I am not keeping this bookshelf when I move into the new house, so there will be a new bookshelf. This one will not exist but at the moment these are the majority of them are series um i just really like how they look to be honest they're all fantasy not the best lighting here but i'm gonna go over the books i have not read so first we have this which is could be one of my most prized books and that is forging silver into stars by bridget camera this is basically i think my favorite my favorite um fantasy author i love her I love Curse Breaker, I love Defy the Night. This book is personalized and signed to me, so why it's so special. Um, I don't know much about this other than it follows new characters and is set in the same world as the Curse Breaker series. And then I have read Defy the Night, but I have not read Define, Defend the Dawn. I got this a while ago. The reason I'm like hesitant to read this is just because I don't know, I think there's more books coming in this series, so I'm kind of debating waiting and just binging it all, um, but how cute is this cover? I'm obsessed. Okay, the only other book I have up here that I have not read, like I've read Akata, I've read Priory, I've read Nevermore, except for the last book, which is Holofox, but I'm, ah, oh, so I'll show you, I suppose. This is Holofox, which is the third book, and I have not read it because the series is really good, and I don't want it to end, so... You know, this book I just bought. It's called A House Unsettled. I have never heard of this book, but it sounded really interesting. I will read you the back because it just sounded so good. So it says, who built this house? Whose money? Whose blood? I check out my neck, but don't see anything to indicate the grip of two strong, meaty hands squeezing the life out of me. It was only a dream. I'm fine. But if Nan's right and dreams mean something... The only thing I can think about is that I'm not welcome in this house. There is a little bit more down here, but that's kind of the premise. And I read that and was like, immediate buy because I love haunted house stories, which I think is what this is about. Again, I've never heard anything, but I think it's important to still read books that you don't hear much about. So I'm excited to read this. Okay, this is a whole mess. We're going to pretend like that does not exist and move down to this shelf. So... I have not read four, five, six, or seven in the Harry Potter series. I'm not going to go in depth on what that's about because it's Harry Potter. I feel like everyone knows. Six Crimson Cranes I have not read yet. I am not really sure much about it. Um, I would read you the back, but I kind of want to go into this one not knowing much. But it looks really pretty, so there's a bonus. We, of course, have... The Final Empire. This is Miss Bourne book one. I will eventually read it. I also have this book, which I literally just bought because it was Brandon Sanderson. I have no idea what series. Oh, Oathbringer and Rhythm of War. I don't own any of those books. So yeah, I have two Claire McIntosh books. I see you and I let you go just because I don't know. I've heard lots of great things about her. Sharp Objects, which I have not read. Then I have this, which is a non-fiction, I believe, about the snapshot killer. Woman in the Window, another very popular thriller, which I will eventually read. I might do a reading vlog, actually, for that. 13, which I got from 
a thrift stop thrift stop thrift store and it's literally about a serial killer being on the jury which is so interesting to me for some reason i don't know we then have of course the made by nita pros which i also got thrifting which is pretty darn good um this is a very controversial thriller so another one that i could maybe do for a vlog i then have 14 i think this is a horror or is it a, oh no it's a crime it's type it's a crime type of book okay i don't know if it's based on the true story or not but it looked interesting and then i have two more non-fictions um this one's about yeah jeffrey epstein and then this one is about female serial killers and i've read that one so that's the shelf it's started off as fantasy and then it went into thriller but i do really like it we have moved literally down to the ground and we're about to do this shelf and then this which is like my middle grade shelf so i don't think there's actually too many books on this shelf i haven't read actually that's a lie most of them i haven't read okay so i have read the plated prisoner series okay i haven't i haven't read glow but i'm not going to get that book out because it's literally on the bottom but i have not read glow we'll include that i have a robin hobb collection because i wanted to read her books i've yet to read any but i will show you i have book one and book two in what is this series called the tawny man I have never heard of this series by Robin Hobb, but I got all of her books um, thrifting, by the way. So that's why I have them. And then I have The Mad Ship, which is book two, and book three, In the Ship of Destiny. Don't have book one, but, you know, again, I got them thrifting. And then I have The Golden Fool which is book two of the Thorny Man. Do I have two of the same? Oh, I do too. I just realized I literally have two of the same book. Well, that's silly. I'm going to keep both and count them both because I don't know which version of the series I want to keep. Probably this one is a lot cuter, to be honest. Anyway, and then we have The Dragon Keeper and The Assassin's Quest. Um, this is book three in the Farsi trilogy, which I believe is the first trilogy you're meant to read and I do have book one on my kindle and then book one of the rain wild chronicles wow Robin Howard has a lot of series is an author I think I would enjoy though which is why I'm so like adamant on collecting like her books and also like I said I do get them secondhand but anyway the other three books I have Lord of the Rings my brother literally he's given up on telling me to read this I will read it eventually um I know I will like Lord of the Rings. I loved The Hobbit and this is the type of fantasy that I do enjoy. So I know I will like it. It's just getting around to it. And then I have two books which are not fantasy. They're a bit random. Nothing But My Body, which is about a queer sex worker in Australia. So I think it's like a memoir. And I loved Happy Endings by Bella Green, which is a very, very, very similar concept. It's a, I don't know if she was queer, but she was a sex worker in Australia. And it's literally one of the best books I've ever read. I loved it. I don't really talk about it on here. Um, just because it's like, it's not a book that would really fit into many of my recommendations. But I do enjoy those types of topics. Um, because I think they cover a lot of important things. This one's the same concept, I believe. Yep. It's a shocking memoir, exposes the secret world of a sugar daddy's kept woman. So same, it's got a corset on it, I don't know, you can't really, there you go. Very cute. I love reading about, like, topics regarding, like, sex work and stuff, because there, it's very, it's a very dangerous thing. I don't think people really talk about that side of things, so, I don't know, I enjoy learning about, also just learning about people's lives. I do enjoy memoirs, which I know. Not many people do but i love them now i'm going to go down to the bottom shelf which is probably my most disorganized shelf because it is all random books mostly middle grade some really random books i also have allergies right now if i sound awful um okay so what haven't we read we have not read this i have tried to read this i didn't get very far in the school of good and evil this sounds like something I would enjoy. I just haven't had the urge to pick it up. I do believe a series, a Netflix series maybe, has just come out. Oh, I have another book in this series. When did I buy that? I literally don't remember buying this. Um, What book 
Who's this? The Last Ever After. Oh, this is book three, I believe. So I'm missing book two. I literally don't remember buying this, but you know, I did at some point. So I'm just missing book two. Um, okay. Oh, this one, which again, shouldn't be in the middle grade section. Apartment 255. This is basically the same concept as you. I believe we're following, yes, we're following a stalker, like from the stalker's perspective, which I think is interesting. I didn't end up reading you because it just sat on my shelf and I ended up reading away because I was like, I'm never going to read this, but I kept this. So I thought maybe I'd give this a read. Um, then we have Percy Jackson. I have, again, I got these thrifting. Are you seeing a pattern here? I got The Lightning Thief, which is the first book, and then I got the fifth book for some reason, which is The Last Olympian. Not even in the same edition, but, you know, I will read these eventually. I'm going to be honest, I'm probably not going to read them this year because I have way too many series, but I would like to read them. And then I have, okay, you know what? I'm not going to get the rest of these books out because I will just show you and you will understand because they're all tiny. These are the rest of the books. I have read these two and I think I've read the BFG and I have read a few of these but I honestly don't remember which one so I'm just going to say I haven't read any of them considering I can't remember any of them and yeah so I have Goosebumps, Ronald Dahl and like this which is a really random goblin book I got thrifting I don't know anyway moving over here we have some more really random books we have chloe the kzx book which i did read we have some i do not know how to say this guy's name but you know he's really popular um i did read that and then we have just some random astrology books some baby names book because i, I honestly don't even know i'm not having a baby anytime soon but Actually, I have technically read that, so that's not on my TBR, and I have read that one as well. But these... Oh, I've read that one too, actually. So it's that one, this one, and this one, and then these three that I have not read. Okay, we are now going to count all of the books on this shelf. I have three other shelves <laughs> slash book cart um, to get to, but we're going to count the books on the shelves that I haven't read, just so we have like a starting number to work with. annoying me hang on there we go way better all right we have 60 books on that shelf which is a lot um already way more than what i mean i only read about 70 books a year so yeah <laughs> I'm not going to go too in depth about each book I will show you but I do have an entire video which I will leave linked down below if you want to look at that because I did give like synopsis and everything um but yeah these are the books I want to read in 2023 it's my goal whether we do that or not I don't know we'll start off with one that has been on my TBR probably the longest The Lost Apothecary by Sarah Penner I don't know what's stopping me from reading this book because it sounds amazing. It's literally, I think, about an apothecary where women sell poison to, like, kill their husbands. <laughs> yeah, that sounds great. I want to read that. We then have Violetta by Isabel Allende. Allende? I don't know how you say that. I don't know what this book's about. I just bought it because it said Isabel and my name's Isabella, so, and it had flowers. So, yeah. The next two books, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to count because I haven't read them, but I don't think I'm going to. So I think I'm not going to count this. This is The Assassin's Blade and Throne of Glass. I'll count them. Okay, I will. I will count them because they're on my physical TBR. Like, they are still here. But same with this one, actually, Mabel. I tried to read it. Don't even go there. I understand it's a popular book. I get the writing is great. I don't have the brains for it. But I do want to try again. 
So I'm gonna count these books, but these are kind of like soft DNFs, just saying. Then we have three like darker books. So we have The Book Eaters. Um, this is literally about people that eat books or like, yeah, they do. And then one day this little kid's born, but he's a mind eater. So he eats minds and that's like not okay. I don't know. Anyway, then we have The Ghost of Gracie Flynn. Oh, I, I don't know. There's a ghost. I can't really tell you. I'm sorry. A lot. In case you haven't noticed, I don't like reading synopsis before reading books. It's just a thing. This line, which I do know, semi, what it's about. It is about a woman. It's in the 1800s. She ain't allowed to be a... What is it she wants to be? Um... Oh, a surgeon. She's not allowed to be a surgeon because she's a woman. But the professor basically says if you can pass the exams without attending classes or something like that, then you can be a, you know, a surgeon or, or something along those lines. So her way of studying is digging up graves. Genius. The next three books, which I actually plan to read in March, hopefully. I mean, now that I'm going to be moving houses in March, I'm not sure how much reading I'm going to get done but I do want to read the Cruel Prince trilogy because I want to film a reading vlog for it. It's also, well, it's in my <laughs> book too that is two so that I read. So it's going to be in that little series and I do think it is a series that I will enjoy. And then the last book on the top of my book cart is Love Letters from Paris. I just bought this because it said Paris. I love Paris. I've never been but I want to go. Okay, we're back on the floor. We're really moving around this in this video ignore the crutches i couldn't walk for four weeks that's why they're there um okay jade city i'm not counting this because i didn't have this and i'm not picking back up it'll be in my february wrap up okay don't freak out just yet until you hear what i have to say hotel magnifique this is a book i'm pretty certain i'll love it's about a magical hotel what is there not to love um i also have book three in the Harry Potter. I put the first three books on my 2023 TBR card and I've read the first two. So it's not with the series yet. Um, I might just put it with the series when I move into the new house. I'm not sure. But can we just cover? Like, I'm sorry, I'm a real big sucker for the Harry Potter covers. This edition specifically, it's unmatched. The next two books, I have decided that if I don't read them this year, I'm getting rid of them. I'm unholing them. And that is These Violent Delights and Our Violent Ends. They're not the same size. I know that frustrates me too. But I just, it's a Romeo and Juliet retelling. I love Romeo and Juliet. But I like it so much to the point where, like, I don't know if I'm ever going to read these because, like, I know what happens at the end of Romeo and Juliet. Like, do I really want to do that to myself? I don't know. And the last three books, oh gosh, on this shelf. We have Braverly, which is a brave retelling. Say no more, I'm in. The Sea Queen, which my brother got me, and it just sounds really interesting. I haven't picked it up because I think it's, I believe it's the first two series, but this is like high, high fantasy. Like, it has a places and characters list. Yeah, it's that type of fantasy. And then The Burning Girls by CJ Tudor, which is my favorite thriller. This is the CJ Tudor book I put on my cart this year. And I'm trying to tell myself to read this before I read The Drift, which just came out. I don't know if I will do that, though. I should, though. Okie dokie. The very bottom only has one, two, three, four, five books. So, I have Pride and Prejudice. I do have two copies of this. So, I don't know whether to count. I'm just going to be counting both books. Like, if I own two copies, I'm counting both of the books because I haven't read both copies. You know what I mean? I know some people might not do that, but that's what I'm doing. Um, or should I not do that? Oh, I'll do it. Anyway, Pride and Prejudice, The Handmaid's Tale, which I'm very excited for this one. I think it'll be interesting. My Year of Rest and Relaxation, which I thought was a classic. It's not. It's just, you know, looks like one. And then we have Addicted and Ricochet in the Addicted series. False Alarm, I actually did not even see this book. It was hidden at the back. Better than the movies, which I did start, but I... Yeah, I know I like it, like I literally haven't even started tabbing it. I just need to be in the mood for a YA romance, which doesn't come to me very often. So I'm saving it for that moment, but I am excited for it.
is very hot. This video is a lot more work than what I thought it would be. <laughs> but we are up to 85 books and we're now going to move over to my favourite shelf. Now a lot of those books on this shelf are going to be read because it's my favourite bookshelf. But there are a few from like authors that I really love that I've just thrown in there. So I'm just going to quickly have a look and see what books we have. Okay, on the top shelf there's only one book I have not read and that's How to Stop Time. I don't know much about this but Matt Haig wrote the midnight library and that's like one of my favorite books it's a book that got me into reading um okay second shelf we have a few so we have the soulmate equation i just popped this on the shelf because i literally had nowhere else to put it and then i have two editions of you can call me miranda because they're signed and tj hamilton's like an australian author i believe and then we have yeah still haven't read it and yeah beach read is one of my favorites so i think because i like beach read so much i'm just absolutely petrified to pick up more in case i don't love them and then the last book on this shelf i have not read i just bought actually under the whispering door by teacher queen which will hopefully be a book i read relatively soon because house and cerulean sea amazing and fun fact i actually originally dnf'd that book yeah and then i picked it back up again and i loved it so you know all right bottom shelf okay we have two cj tudor's books cj tudor books <laughs> i have the chalk man and the drift i just bought the drift um i put all of cj tudor's books other than the burning girls on here because she's just my favorite author isn't she so she deserves a spot <laughs> up to 94 books a bit crazy we're onto this shelf which is so colorful i love it um and yeah we're just gonna get straight in we have like romance and then at the top we have poetry and um classics even though i barely read classics so i don't know why i own so many okay right off the bat colleen hoover I have Hopeless and Losing Hope. These are actually the first two Colleen Hoover books that I bought. And <laughs> I still haven't read them because I've heard they're really sad. And I don't know. Also, this book looks massive. I saw this book in like Big W and it was literally like tiny. Like, I don't understand. Did you just cut it or is it the pages? I don't know. But. Oh, wait. This only. Oh, no. It's still fairly long. Anyway two books don't really know the premise oh i forgot about this one yeah i tried to read this i couldn't get into it but i am going to give it another go um i have heard this is some people's least favorite so that makes me a little bit nervous the last colleen hoover book i own and haven't read is well slammed which i think this is a book that's about like a teacher and a student and if that's the case i don't think i'm going to read it i got it at the op shop for like two bucks which is why i got it um yeah that'll be weird if that's what it's about and then i have two sad books which i'll probably read if i do like a sad reading vlog i don't know not anytime soon because i don't feel like being sad but girl in pieces i hate this cover i got this cover because my town like bookstores didn't have the other one and then i bought it and like two weeks later the other cover came in and i was like oh but anyway and then we have holding up the universe this is the same author that wrote all the bright places which i did read and I really like, loved, and it's sad. Why can I not talk today? I do not know. Okay, we are now on to the romance section. It's not very big, but we have... Wait, no, I've read that. Wow, I literally don't remember anything about this book. I forgot I read it. Okay. Delilah the Green doesn't care. I have had this one for a while, and I do think I would love it if I read it, but I obviously have not read it yet. Love and Virtue, which my brother got for me um because like he asked if i wanted any of the books and i saw that so i was like sure i'll have that one um another book for like a sad reading vlog a thousand kisses a thousand boy kisses sorry yeah you know these are just books that i would love to read just obviously i have not yet and then we have a relatively recent purchase from luke off with love i bought this after i read culty in january um and i think i'm gonna save this for the winter for obvious reasons um, I am reading Icebreaker, though, currently, so similar vibes, I'm not really sure, just yet, but 
I know. Then we have Everything I Know About Love. Oops. Everything I Know About Love by Adelie Alderton. I do not remember buying this. Like, I literally don't remember if I bought it new, if I got it secondhand. I do not know. Weather Girl. Also saving this for winter time. I read the X Talk. Loved it a lot. So, super excited. Um, and then we have two more books that I have not read. We have If the Shoe Fits, which I believe is like a dating show, but she's plus size. Yes, thank you. And Heartland, which I think is a non-fiction about a bunch of different people who fall in love, I guess. I know I look really bad. It is so hot. I'm sure you're used to me saying that if you watch my videos. It's a little bit daunting, the books at the top, because like I said, a lot of them are classics and I have not read pretty much any of them. So instead of pulling them out one by one, I think I'm just going to show you and like go through it just because there is a lot that I have not read on this shelf. All right, here's my poetry. The only poetry book I have not read is The Sun and Her Flowers. Just, I think it's quite sad, so I haven't got around to it. Pride and Prejudice is my other edition. I'm counting it as another book just because they're different editions. And I believe this one's more like it's longer the other ones I think a bit more simplified maybe I don't know but I'm counting them as different books picture of Dorian Gray I have read Dracula I have not read Scarlet Letter um oh gosh there's so many books I haven't read these two I have read that one I have not read that 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 and I have not read that so well there's quite a lot of books here Moving on, haven't read, haven't read, haven't read, haven't read, haven't read, haven't read either. Um, I have read, I have read, have read, haven't read The Great Gatsby yet, haven't read Peter Pan, and then I haven't read these three books, which are about like Oswich. I don't know if this one's about Oswich actually. Oh, yeah, it's about Hitler, so yeah. Okay, we had 37, so we're up to 131 books. This is the last area of my room where there is books and they're just on the floor because I ran out of space, okay? So we have my Cassandra Clare books. I have only read City of Bones, which isn't here because I was going to reread it, and City of Ashes, and I did read City of Glass, I believe. So I haven't read Clockwood Angel, I haven't read Clockwood Prince. Um, that's another edition. I have read Red Scrolls of Magic, haven't read Bane Chronicles, or the Infernal Devices, or the Dark. Wait, what is this? Is it the end? No, the Dark Artifices. And then Chain of Gold, I also have not read. And then this is just like random, so I have not read Go on the Train. Um, I've only read Dangerous out of these like Amanda Quick books. Haven't read Keeper of Lost City, so I'm really excited to. A DNF to the Midnight Girls, but I'm gonna class it as hasn't read because I didn't get far into it. I read the first three books in Twilight, and that's it. I haven't read any of the others. Okay, you guys. Oh my goodness. That is it. There's a few spiritual books I have here, but I've read all of them. So we have finished. I think there might be a few books here and there around the house. But anyway, all of the books in my room that I have not read yet, 153 books, which is basically two years worth of reading for me. <laughs> so that's a lot. Um... I mean, I'm going to be honest, moving into this new house, I'm going to have my own library room, so I'm probably going to be buying more books, but I still think it's a bit ridiculous. I have 153 books I have not read, and I have a Kindle as well, so I do do, I do, I do do <laughs> a lot of reading on my Kindle. But anyway, thank you guys for coming along with me, going through all the books on my TBR and how many I have. Um, this is just a good opportunity for me to see all the books that I have before moving, um, there wasn't really any that I was, like, gonna unhaul. I thought maybe I'd find a few. 
but like the only three I'm really like on the fence with are Assassin's Blade, Throne of Glass and Babel but I'm gonna keep them and give them a second chance so there's not really any books I'm gonna unhaul which I guess is good because I did just unhaul four bags of books so I would have probably had over 200 before that but anyways thank you guys for watching this video um I am hoping to actually do a March TBR because I have quite a lot of books that I'm planning to read in March for like book clubs and challenges and readathons but like I said I wasn't planning on actually moving out until like literally a week ago so <laughs> yeah I don't know how much reading I'm gonna get done but thank you guys for watching and if you liked make sure you give this video a like and subscribe if you like no pressure though and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys